Obviously, we need surveillance cameras. Yeah, we'll set them up all around the eighth floor. And that way we can monitor anyone coming in or leaving. All right, what about man, pal? Um, we don't need as many men as we thought we did. All right, <laughs> we're going to use two of our best security people yeah. to monitor all the equipment right here. Just a limited amount of armed guards, and, and then it'll be very discreet. You know, one thing we don't need, uh, Robert, is a lot of um, uniforms running around. It's only going to make people suspicious yeah. anyway. We don't want anyone knowing that Camargo's here. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you think, old buddy? Huh? Is this uh, low-key enough? I think it's risky. I mean, I don't want this guy Camargo here, period. Camargo? You didn't hear that. The president of Santa Mara is coming to Port Charles. Why? Um, <laughs> he's, uh, he's going to have some surgery, and your brother's doing it. And Colton's going to fly him up from Washington. Greg Colton doesn't know who it is yet because of security reasons, but what's the problem? Well, you're going to have a problem with security if Colton finds out. Why is that? Colton's become very close with Carla Greco and her brother. So? Well, this Camargo fellow is responsible for killing their father. Well, your mom did some very interesting work now. She said she'd be resting in your office. Oh, man, well, I just thought she's been under so much stress lately. Work out, but, you know, relax her a little bit. I just thought she'd be, you know, be cool and some snackers back and everything. Oh, well, she blames herself. <laughs> Mom? Mom? What is it? Talk. It, it hurts. Okay. Get on the floor, Frank. Uh, Call an ambulance. Where does it hurt? I, Where's the pain? I can't breathe. Oh, she's oh. got chest pain. Oh! Relax. It's gonna be all right. Breathe. Breathe. Slow, easy, put it. I'm sorry. Yes. Shh. Just, you got him? Yes. Okay. Just breathe. Relax. You're going to be okay. Everything's going to be all right. Okay. Colton's interested in Carla? Yep. Gosh, that's strange. What's so strange about it? Oh, well, I mean, no, I was, when I was around at Carla's, you know, and uh, Rico Chican came in and kind of thought, well, I don't know. He bought us some flowers anyway. No, you're not wrong. It gets a little tricky. Uh-huh. You see, according to Colton, Carla says that Rico's helping her family in Santa Mara. Helping them how? Well, I'm not sure. Her father there was a political dissident. Um, what, if anything, happened to him? Well, as far as I can figure out, he was set up and killed. In Santa Mara? Yep. And you know, what I can't seem to understand is how a guy who runs a bodega up here is helping Carla's family down there. Well, that's why I wanted you to check into Santa Mara when you were down in D.C. You thinking what I'm thinking? Well, I'm thinking, can Colton uh, be a pro and get on with the job rather than his feelings for Carla get in the way? So he has no idea who he's going to be transporting, right? Right. But if he finds out... We we'll just get another pilot. We can't just get another pilot. We need somebody with a high security clearance. Look, that's I don't need these... Oh, General Stark. We were just discussing security. Hello. In uh, front of this man? This man is Frisco Jones and a part of our team. Howdy. A uh, trustworthy one, I would hope. Yes. Well, uh, I assume I was summoned here for some reason. Matter of fact, you were. I have decided to grant permission to bring your president here to Port Charles. Ah. Good. Very good. But let's not forget, this is my jurisdiction, and you'll do what I tell you to. As long as what you say is in the best interest of El President. Yes, General, I don't want trouble any more than you do. Then we are in agreement. Well, I would like to alert Washington as the arrival of the helicopter of Mr. Shore. Uh, when? Uh, tomorrow. Ah, tomorrow. Excellent. Okay. Do you want to use the phone? Heart attack? Well, Colton wasn't sure. Uh, imagine finding your mother like that. Is he alone? Yes, he's alone. He shouldn't be alone. Well, that's why I came here, Carla. I think um, you should go to the hospital and be with him. Uh, I can't. What do you mean you can't? Just, just go. <laughs> you know I can't. It's Rico again. If 
he found out, he would kill Colton. To hell with Rico, Carla. I mean, the man just... Don't, uh, don't, don't. You're denying what happened? Carla, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to pretend this never happened. Just because you want Rico to protect us, you think he'll protect us? He will. You call what he did to you protection? I mean, I should kill him for what he did. Will you have our mother killed too? Frankie, please, I'm begging you. Just stay away from Rico. Yeah, you gotta tell Colton. No. You're just gonna let him get away with this? Is that what you're telling me? You're Stop gonna let me... Stop it, Frankie. Fine. Fine. Um, are, you, are you going to the hospital? No, I'm going back to the club. Colton needs somebody there. If he calls, we, we tell him that... T tell him what? That you're too afraid to be with him when he needs you? Rico get away with this. Somehow I'm gonna make him pay for this. Donnelly have, how do you say, in America, covered all your bases, huh? <laughs> Well, we try to prepare for every contingency, yes. Yes, I can see that. However, no security plan is foolproof. Ah, oh, you are a pessimist, Mr. Scorpio. I am sure that the safety of El Presidente is in very good hands. Well, if that is all... There may be a few things you haven't thought of here, yes. General Stark. You know, there's a few people from Santa Mara living in Port Charles. You aware of that? Yes, I'm aware of that. Because of that fact and the political situation in your country, we thought it would be best if we ran a security check on this. Oh, no, no, no. It won't be necessary. Oh, well, there could be some trouble if these people found out that the president was coming here. No, my Secret Service has already run a security check. If there were any risk, I would not have allowed Camargo to be brought But here. it would be all right for just... As I life. say, Miss Lavery, it would not be necessary. I would like to proceed with the um, transfer of El Presidente from Washington to Port Charles tomorrow, if that is all right, Mr. Scorpio. Provided he's capable of traveling. I am assured that he is. Then tomorrow it is. Excellent. Uh, you will incorporate my few ideas into your plan? Uh-huh. Of course. Good. Then I will return to uh, go over them with you a little bit later. Your president is going to be safe here with us. Yes. I hope so. The stability of my country depends upon it. It's the stability in my city that worries me. Uh, Robert, don't worry, will you? We've got everything covered. Except maybe for Colton. Yeah, well, you better make sure he knows what's going on or he may not fly Camargo. You think of that? Yeah. Well, it's going to be very embarrassing for both sides. One way to find out, we'll have a talk to Colton. Prisco, why don't you go round him up? 